Okay, Mr. or Mrs. Turning Point, I don't care what your name is. It's okay. I, I've created a just a single floor plan here. And with a you know a hip roof on it. Now for a, what I intend to do is do a loft room on this end and clear story room on this end. And in order to do that, I'm going to take these two walls. I shift selected them. That's left click, press the shift key, left click. Now I have a dual selection set, as they say. Go to the roof tab, tell it to be a gable wall, and it makes a gable. That's pretty simple. Of course, we just have a, a single floor here. I want to create an, <coughs> excuse me, a new floor. Build floor, build new floor. I'm going to keep it simple, derive second floor from the first floor. I don't care about the ceiling heights because you didn't specify those. So now I've got a two a two story box with a gable roof on it. <clears throat> I'm going to take uh, we're on the second floor. I'm going to take a wall straight deck wall. Like I said, I'm going to keep it simple. This room is going to be our loft room, and. <clears throat> Now, the, what you were drawing was kind of a, a truncated uh, ceiling or a coffered ceiling, excuse me. So, you know, we need to raise the ceiling up to about here to get that effect. Uh, this is just uh, eight feet. That's looks like prob it's probably nine feet. And then a, the floor platform thickness is about <clears throat> a foot. <clears throat> so I'm going to take this eight foot ceiling now that the roofs are on and raise it. But first, I need to turn off uh, automatic build roofs. Otherwise, it'll just shove the roof up higher. So I'm going to turn that off. Build roof dialog. Uncheck that. Then I can take this and raise the ceiling, and the roofs won't move. We'll uncheck default. I'm going to make the finished ceiling of 10 feet. And when I did that, these little coffer lines come in there. Let me show you what those represent. I think it's, uh, I forget the, yeah, that's how you get that. I'm going to raise it a little bit more. Uh, by the way, these lines, you can't select them. You have to go to display options. And this is on a video. If I'm going too fast for you, you can play it back, all right? Now, uh, oh, yes, and that's, uh, what's the name of that layer? Ce no, is it ceiling surfaces? No. Ceiling brake lines, there it is. When you uncheck that, the little lines disappear, but they're on by default. So there they are. I want to raise these up to emulate your drawing a little bit more closely, so we'll raise the ceiling up to uh, probably, uh, let's see, that's 10 feet, 12 feet. I got 144 inches. See, so moved them up. See what those lines moved? And uh, where's the, there it is cross-section it again. That's kind of what you drew. Okay? So that's how I'm going to do that in this. Now this space over here, I want it over on the general tab here, room specification, open below. What that does is I can stand up here then and left-click here to establish a viewpoint and then look in this direction. And you see out over the uh, railing there and the open below. This makes this a loft. <clears throat> now, I didn't make take a ceiling out over here, so uh, I'm going to open that room dialog box, the open below room, and set it the same as the other the loft room so that they match. Make the finished ceiling 144 inches. You'll see it whoop, go up, and there's the vault. It's a lot of this software operates on uh, on uh, settings. You get the settings right, then you you get the effect you want. You don't have your settings right, you don't get the effect you want. Now, about the only thing left here is how to get up to this loft. Let me go down to the first floor. We'll look in the direction. See, there's the loft up there. There's your coffered ceiling. I call it coffered. <clears throat> Now we need a stairwell. <clears throat> so I'm going to go up here and uh, pull this 
pull this railing back. Whoops. Pull that back. I'm going to create a landing. I'm not going to be real careful about the dimensions. I'm just kind of demonstrating. So there's my landing. And go down here, turn on the reference display, and so I can see that's where my, my landing entrance is. I'll take the uh, stair tool and let that, and I don't know if you notice that, but as soon as I got that stairway anywhere near that landing up there, it created an opening in it. I'll move that back just a little bit. I tried to use the arrow keys. You can't use arrow keys in Pro. You can do that in Chief. Just going to nudge it back. I'm using a control key to get it as a little bit more exact. I just want it touching the edge of the landing. Yeah, it's, that's close enough. Now let's see what the stair dialog says. It says it's steep. And <clears throat> this doesn't have any intelligence built into it. it. It's just It just tells you what you did, basically. And you click best fit, and it follows its, its programming. <clears throat> Sometimes I use be make best fit just for fun, but I, if this is to be a workable design, I need to leave enough space over here for people to turn the corner here and come up the stairs. So I'm just going to add a tread or two. I don't want to make just. I know this is just for for showing off, but uh, that's that's skinny enough. Well, now we see what the dialogue says. It's still steep. Well, that's all right. <clears throat> it connects it. This is a demonstration. Now we'll look at, and you can see the stairs, the landing, and, whoops, the uh, covered ceiling. Let me raise it up this way. Yeah. So I think that's what you want. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, if I'm right, well, you're welcome. Thank you for watching.